सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाज्योति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्त तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 ओम ना Albert Einstein here there is the miracle year in 1905 here we also present the symbols um there is the venus spirit from 96 to, to 1916 where his biggest uh production and when he enters the sun period he starts to travel abroad when he enters the moon period he is just not like a, a just a european anymore he is a global citizen and when he starts the march period he moves as a refugee to united states and that this is just general view um sorry about being very uh, quick with einstein <laughs> because einstein has so many publications that we could be studying his um time frame in a uh, very one hour and a half just to discuss those things but understand when karmic periods change if we don't change the way that we tackle life most of the time the same strategy that was winning one karmic period is not going to be victorious in another karmic period one strategy that was winning in one karmic period probably is not going to be victorious in another karmic period if you as caesar one day galilee i don't know how you say that in english that french part in one karmic period the same strategy maybe will kill you in the senate afterwards if you as alexander was conquering the world in one karmic period with that strategy maybe that should not be and there is another aspect that how one karmic period is related to another for example my venus and my sun are in the same sign so from venus to sun period my transition was not so dramatic because they were also mingled or mixed it in their karmic box okay so it's not only about the graha the the karmic period but what is the karmic box so in my example 
I have Sun and Venus in karmic Sagittarius. My moon was in is in karmic Leo, and all those are fiery signs. But my Mars is in a Libra, karmic Libra. So my life had a huge um, change. <laughs> and I moved from um, Rio de Janeiro to um, Ubatuba when my fourth karmic period started in 2016. I moved to the northeast of Brazil, that is very far away from Brazilian standards. All this in 2020, uh, up to 2023. And now I'm big, I'm, I'm going to show. I'm constructing a big house <laughs> that it should be Ayurvedic center, Ayurvedic school and so, to start my fifth karmic period. And this construction people, was not something that actually we're expecting. We we're trying to build our house just that. <laughs> but we did not get the bank loan and the people that wanted to sell us did not sell us. What happened was this. <laughs> Let me share that final uh, slide. Um, just a second. Look the size of this thing. It's a kind of a building. We say that this is a, a, a magic cube. And uh, the area on this terrace, it's around, uh, it's 15 meters, 15 meters. This in feet, I'm not so sure about, but uh, probably it's, but you can have an idea of the size of that thing. And uh, we did get a, a loan from Brazilian bank that it was around $100,000 in Brazil to finance a construction, being a regular person, this is not the United States, people don't know how exceptional this is in Brazil. And the way that we bought this plot and the way that we arranged that money it's a kind of a fantastic, I wouldn't say miracle, but it's a kind of fantastic story for Brazilian standards, okay? It would be around you're just a regular citizen in the United States and you get a $500,000 loan. It would be for you to get the dimension of what we're speaking to Brazil, okay? And what I'm saying here is because I'm changing into my fifth karmic period, because my wife is her, in her, during her fifth karmic period. For her, building a house was a very important thing as a life dream. For me, what it was not. But building Ayurvedic school, building Ayurvedic center, building a, a Vedic cultural place, it's a thing for my fifth karmic era. And that's how the universe managed to cope with my karmic friend and her karmic friend. Okay, See, uh, Jennifer, since we start our karmic periods based on moon placement, do you begin at the degree of our moon akshat? Exactly. But Jennifer, we are going to make some distinction. For example, I'm Purva Pauguni. Okay, the same as Madonna. <laughs> it's not the same that I'm uh, Purva Pauguni or Barani or, sorry, let's put on that sequence. Barani, Purva Pauguni, and Purva Ashada, both of these three nakshatras have the same relation to be karmic period type two Venus, Shukra. But we are going to study there are implications for, um, there are more implications, but this is a more advanced topic. But the, the simple answer for you is yes, but this is not a very uh, shallow, is it shallow? There is more depthness on that answer, okay? So if you are watching this live or if you are um, listening this later, we are inviting you because we are in the end of this process and the end of this process is a nine months, uh, what do you say? Pregnancy of the building of that house. We are inviting you to, if you want to donate some 10, 20 bucks 
through the PayPal. As a thank you for this session or maybe this session and another. Every every dollar <laughs> can help us a lot. And I'm saying to Divya, look, Divya, thank you a lot for recommend me um, during this last two, three months because I'm not being able to work as a advertising my job right now because most of the time I'm doing things <laughs> for the construction, okay? So if you feel that those two sessions were enough for you to decide to make uh, the participation in our course. We thank you a lot. And for the people that are already have enrolled in this course, you don't imagine <laughs> the help that you have gave us. So we thank you for all those people that already um, helped us with this, uh, those transfers. And uh, if you just want to make a symbolic donation, it can be from $1 to 108. I mean, we welcome for this moment that <laughs> there is a lot of things going on. And we invite you for the course because we are going to have 12 more sessions around one hour and a half like this. Maybe more than one hour and a half, maybe up to two hours. Now we are going to open the floor for discussion. Erica sent you, um, uh, she said that she's glad that uh, she could see today the information because her consultation was uh, helped by this. And she also sent a, a testimonial here that it's in Spanish, but I'm going to translate a little bit so that this can, um, how do you say, uh, to, to help you to decide to do the consultations or do the course and so. She said that during this session was very uh, helpful for me because I could see in a more clear manner, in a more bright manner, my karmic process. I liked the way that uh, Tiago talked with me, not only saying what I was going through, but also explaining me. And also this uh, is going to help me to go through this moment that it's difficult in my life, but it's um, it's easier to go through this transitional period that she's uh, facing. Divya G, 1 p.m. here, uh, noon there. Om Gurave Namah, Om Gurave Namah, Om 